Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Third Obama. I'm your Game Master Darius. Last we left off, we were having a slight problem, and that problem being, uh, this place sucks. I'm pretty sure I might be underleveled at this point, according to a whole lot of guide shit. But at the same time, I want to see how far I can get, so... Okay, I see how I'm supposed to go through a good chunk of this, I think. Um, or maybe I don't. No, think I do. Maybe. I hope I'm not supposed to... Ah. Did I even level up while I was here? I did not. Thinking about it. I'm not interested in any of the loot. That's the Luna. Which I need to smack away, I think. Thank you. Go back to the healing. Explode for me. I'm gonna let him die. <laughs> if he continues to be... In the way. Ow. God, that was so much damage. Alright. So as I'm looking at this map again, I went up, around. Can I jump down? I'm able to. Then up and through here, and then I follow along to the left. Oh no, the dumb AI is being dumb. I won't lie, I do find the mace, as they like to call it in this, to be entertaining, but. See, I'm um, there now. So I gotta go run through here. Just don't get exploded, you know. That's, that's all all there is to it when it comes to this game. Just don't explode. All right. So here is where we were having a time last time. Now, come on, thank you. There we go. That's all it was. That's all there was. There was, there was a thing to smash open. Uh, Warbot, G, it rusted over, I can't read it. What's something left over from the Empire doing here? About to initiate another boss fight, that's what. Wait, is that... Oh boy, another one of these kind of fights, alright. Up, movement is nice. Alright, where are you? If we see... Elemental of some sort? Oh my god, would you kindly reveal yourself so I may stab you? Oh. Methinks we pound back that honey. Okay, so while he's doing this bouncing around shit, he's pretty much immune to my damage. How much damage is Undine gonna do? Cause water v fire. 
Come on. Oh my god. Why is the damage you do gotta be so insufferably high? Would you hold the flip still? Ow. Hey, guess who's going to do all of the grinding when he is out of here? Uh, there we go. What? Dude didn't immediately... It's, it's fine. It's fine. Maybe... I'm not really able to see the damage all too well that I'm doing, which is sadness. Okay, I think what it is is that I'm kind of interrupting the animation, as it were. <sighs> Let me try... the old faithful. It worked. So I guess charge with spear. Well. Or I could just use... I just do that. How much HP am I at? Eh, I could probably have another chuckle lump. Haha! -ha. I framed through your goddamn stupid fireball bullshit. Ow! Ow! I want nothing of the sort when it comes to. Haha! -ha, you took damage from that bullshit. Okay, that only did 40. At this point, if I'm keeping my distance, <clears throat> which seems like the smart idea, uh huh. Uh huh. Frick you? I know I could pro should probably be using the spells, but keep in mind uh, what my spells are like. And what my spell casting is like. You know, garbage. One last arrow. That's all I needed. Is this the Sword of Mana? That thing? The Sword of Mana? Oh no. It's all rusted and worn. Not exactly what you'd expect from a holy sword. The sword. The number of tales it could tell. It must be the Sword of Mana. Let's take it back to Sheba and Ish. Welcome home. It's good to see you. I'm glad you're safe. So, did you find the Sword of Mana? Yes, we did. Here it is. It used to be that the instant a brave Gimmon held the sword, it could shine like the sun. Legend of Mana, eh? Pfft. I'll give you the real story. The Gimmon's fought to the end with that rusted sword. It only shines and grinds his fairy tales. Legends are like that, you know. Is that... is that the truth? You knew that all along and you... Now I get it, Siva. The sword is to be held within the heart. If it is wielded with firm conviction, even a tree branch can become a holy sword. Now you've got it. The heart is what's most important. 
possessions and power are never the true measure of a person's worth. That was a tricky puzzle to figure out, wasn't it? Words are easier to bandy out. But certain lessons are best learned through experience. I guess you could say Julius. I mean Vandal. Learned the same thing. Or even if you use mana power to control the whole world, it's all fleeting. But it is certain that thousands of people will be sacrificed for this fleeting vision. Even now that we know Julius is Vandal, Bogard and I have a reason to stop him, yet we cannot. The promise we made back then lives on. Now that we've handed the key to Sanctuary over to Julius, it's impossible for us to get there ahead of him. But if the path to Sanctuary is still closed off... It's sealed. But what about that... But uh, what about raising Dime Tower? Dime Tower? The Vandal Empire's best technology was used to create a bridge that led to Meta Sanctuary. That is Dime Tower. A long time ago, Lord Grands told me something about it. But according to him, Dime Tower was destroyed along with the rest of the Vandal Empire. I heard that too. Dime Tower sank into the Glass Desert. Then the path from Dime Tower must be inaccessible. Well then, Siba, what are we going to do? Oh god, don't you think it's time you told them what they need to know? Well, I suppose. Dime Tower was sealed in the glass desert by none other than Siba here. That's true, Siba? Yes, it is. But I never thought I'd have to break the seal on Dime Tower for as long as I lived. Anna Sanctuary is a forest born of this world and yet not of this world. Without the key, the only way to get there is by raising Dime Tower. However, keep in mind that Dime Tower is a Tower of Trials. It won't be easy reaching the Banner Sanctuary alive. All of you, are you ready to see this through to the end? Even if it costs you your lives? No doubt in my mind. Let's get there and quick. Hold on, you. If you're going to save the world, you'll need a decent meal and a good night's rest. We won't make it to Dime Tower for you're all worn out. Once again, Sailor proves to be the sharpest of, sharpest of us all. Got that right. That night, the faithful friends feasted. They held a small banquet. Tears for the departed and thanks for newfound friends. Pleasant memories would propel them forward. Bonds of friendship would carry them through. But with each heartbeat, time marched on. Starry sky is so beautiful. Yeah. What are you thinking? Could it be about Amanda? I think she taught me a great deal. Especially when it what it means to protect someone. Hmm. Eliza, we've got a long, hard road ahead. But I'll protect you no matter what. I mean it this time. Thank you, Darius. Since mana first began to flow, it has carried people's hearts on towards the future. Alright then. 
We need to go north. To get to Time Tower, we cross grass, glass, desert. Then move on to the ruined path. Let's go together and check it out ourselves. Oh wait, is this one of those... Choose who you go? By the time we make it to the ruined path, we'll already have Time Tower up and ready. Rune Path has a strong barrier across it, placed between there as part of a pact between the Gimma and the Mavolas. Count Lee's seal on the cave to Windal doesn't even compare. The only way to break the barrier is with the help of a Mavole. Man's Sanctuary. I'd love to see it myself sometime. Please take, take care. I'm sure that Lord Grands will be watching over you. Before you go, allow me to open my knowledge to you. What would you like to know? I just... Leave. Gemma, I guess. Gemma, keeper of the Sword of Mana, was the son of the Emperor's Consul. He was an outstanding swordsman, but compared to Van Dole, he was like a child reading a toy. Graz went to the Gemma to be king, but after the fight, he was nowhere to be found. No one has heard from him ever since. And Grand's embellished stories of the Gemma. Even now, when disaster strikes, someone claiming to be a Gimma pops up. The legends are legends. What matters most is forging your own path and being responsible for your actions. That's what Dark Lord and Vandal did. There's a save point in here. I won't lie, I, I forgot where the save point was. Right, I think it was at the inn. Which was just up here. We have full health. No, we're not. Might as well rest. Not calling an episode, but I am going to pause recording so that I can grind until I'm sick. Or I might just use the cheat code. I can't decide what, so. Yeah, BRB. Okay, so I didn't cheat per se, I just used the emulator speed up function and that made things a lot faster. Not to mention... The ability to pretty much just walk right outside and kill... These things. I slew a lot of them. A lot, a lot of them. At least, uh, at least 999 of them before they turned black. And then however money I needed to kill for them to get me to level 90, 80. Same difference, really. Anywho. Let's see how far we can go with our new phone power. Um, oh. And for the record. This is my stats. I didn't cast, like, any magic. And I pretty much just went, um... Oh, that's neat. We can quickly look at her stats. Neat. Uh, but yeah, they got basically any magic. Hard the yawning. Um, yeah. Pretty much just been upping uh monk this entire time. Now here's the funny thing too. I did want to test how these guys worked against me. Yeah, no, they still kick my ass. Thanks to the, uh, that, that they do. It's annoying, and I hate it. So we are not going to de deal with those things if I don't have to. That said, how the hell am I supposed to get up there? Do not tell me. I have no clue how the hell I'm supposed to progress here. I know I have to go north now. Wait, is there... nope. Nope. What the hell do I do? Am I not supposed to be going north? I am very confused as to what the hell I'm supposed to be doing here, seeing as I can't jump that.
Oh my god, what the hell am I supposed to do? One second. The frick is this about an invisible bridge? What is that gonna look up? do a little back and forth in this here, despite the fact that that looks like night. Invisible all oh, you sons of bitches. Okay, that guy's immune to that shit. That's fine. Probably just another one of those. How do we're immune to all things that you like? Man, I love it when that happens. Oh god, this is another invisible bridge thing, isn't it? Apparently, I might have been supposed to have talked to someone and been told, Hey, return during the night. And you can see some invisible bridges. Which is neat. But, I can't help but feel like that they should have, could have... Maybe. See a light geode. That far? I did. Okay. Oh, am I supposed? Don't mind me. Just trying to get down to business. There we go. I might be wondering, Darius, why the hell run away from everything? You can manage this no worries, right? I can, but for the most part, I really don't want to fight the enemies that deal damage to me for just hitting them at the wrong, at the wrong timing. So, no thank you. Yeah, monsters. Bring, bring, bring. All right. Hey, the ruined passage. We're here. I was getting so tired of waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, not Grimond again. So you're still alive? What happened to Miss Isabella? Relax, I didn't kill her. She looked tasty, but I messed up a bit. By the way, do you two have any idea why I appeared here? Did you come to eat our souls? Oh, your swords need to marinate a bit longer. Hehe, <laughs> relax, I'm on your side today. On our side? You want to enter the ruined path, don't you? This has nothing to do with you, you soul-sucking freak. Don't push yourselves. <laughs> There's a small shrine in the sealed cave on the island far to the west. Your answers lie there. What makes you think we'll believe you? Make no mistake, I only want to eat the finest of souls. Make no difference to me if it's yours or Julius's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. are not in cahoots with Julius? Well, you must admit there are plenty of plump souls right for the taking when I hang around him. That's as far as it goes, though. Why, you filthy... Whether you believe me or not is entirely up to you. If you decide to go, the armories in Southern Ish can blast you over to Sealed Cave. Well, I guess it's goodbye, Darius. Make sure nobody eats your soul. Except me, that is. <laughs> but we just got here, and I want to not have to go all the way back to Ish. I'm a little bit mad right now. Not, not, not gonna lie. I gotta return all the way back to Ish? Why have me traverse all this way? Oh. Alright, I guess we're going back to Ish. <clears throat> God flippin' damn it. Can I get anything from this? 
No. Your inventory is full. God damn it, Eliza, stop trying to murder things. They're just gonna kill us back. Especially these stupid things. God damn it. Originally, I was going to grind on these until I get to basically max level because they have a little bit higher amount of experience to give than the other dudes that I've been facing off against. Problem is... Uh, patience, because good lord, all of them their lightning nignings will just get me killed. And that's no good. Quick stay at the place. How the hell do I go west from Ish? Is there just a... Thing? I don't know. And no, I don't actually know what BEST stands for, but uh, from what I found about grinding, it has... has... can affect the amount of experience you get, I guess? Alright, Armory to the West. Dude just hit me for 138 damage. Mind you, now every single one of these guys is going to be super de duperly uh, powerful. It's gonna hurt, but. Okay, that's. There it is. keep on saving as I move along, simply so as I don't have to worry about getting heat back here again. Alright. Sealed cave. Don't know how many more of these little side dungeons there are, but I don't know that there are not many bosses left. So it's just a whole lot of... A whole lot of wading through a bunch of places that I don't much like at the moment. <sighs> oh, pardon me. I did that thing where I did the grinding as soon as I was done with the previous episode and then started recording again. Because again, speed up. I really didn't want to bother too, too much about it. Ah, yes, of course. Skeletons. Which are still basically immune to everything I do. And same with the zombies. I love that mechanic. Absolutely great. Makes me glad that pretty much every single fight that we have in these ca in uh, many of these situations are completely optional, because good lord, I would hate to be freaking useless in every single area that we go to. That would just feel bad. The switch is all rusty and worn. Does it work? Throw the switch. Locked into position. For a seal broken. Yeah, nice try. Mimic. Points. Uh. Plenty enough, by the way. I found that one of the best things you can do if you want to raise your proficiency against a particular or with a particular weapon, just grind against an enemy that uh, takes no damage. Like, kill all the other enemies on the screen, keep your ally away. Pretty sure you're able to tell them to just stay the hell away for a bit. And when you punch them, you'll still get proficiency, you just won't do any damage. Cease existing. 
I have a question, why am I not using my axe? Or punchiness. I guess it really doesn't matter, some, some of these guys are just BS after all. Tink! And might as well try to get this. Yep, that was 100% worth it. Please just jump, please just jump up there. I broke some seals. Poor creatures. Oh, maybe what I did was I opened up a door elsewhere. Did they did? For the record, too, I don't think Eliza is. Uh, up to my level simply because every so often she did just keel over. Oop. Bonk. Yeah, I suppose I could use that. Or I could just wait until I find the uh Boss? Is the boss? When you decipher the five warnings, the old gravekeeper will awaken. Stone monument. Monument. Why would... Oh, are there three more? Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I hate that there's just so many undead now. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here then with this video. When we return, we've only got so much left of the game, and I got a feeling that this sealed cave is going to be one of the biggest pains in the asses of it. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you're all enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing it, maybe more, possibly, hopefully. And of course, I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care. Cheers.